Hey dolls! Okay, so yes, I'm wearing the same thing as I just did in my uh, new updated What's on My iPhone. So now I am doing the updated What's on My iPad Mini. I figured uh, I figured that I would just crank through both of these videos and get them both done in one sitting because a lot of you have been asking for them. So I'm going to go ahead and get into it. I've updated my iPad Mini to iOS 7 as well. Sorry for the nasty glare right there. Um, but first off, I'm just going to talk about the case. The case I just got on eBay for like three or four dollars. It's just an easy leather flip open case. And when you put this back here, it does a little stand type thing that's kind of cool, just like that. And then um, it just flips close like that. No magnetic closure or anything. It just flips close. Um, and then it's just a nice pretty like lilac -y purple. And I just put all these different stickers on it to decorate it and spice it up to my own liking. So I didn't have to like buy a custom case or anything like that. I just made it my own um, just by sticking stickers all over it. So that's a simple, quick, easy DIY for you guys if you want a really cute iPad case. But um, I am a huge fan of these flip open ones. I only have three iPad cases. I have two of the flip open ones and I have one of these super, super, super protective like Griffin Survivor type cases. Um, so it's like amazing. I, I love the flip in because it's just so easy to hold it like this and just do what I need to do and then just flip it closed. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. Okay, so when I unlock my device, this is my wallpaper right here. It's just My Little Pony Friendship is Magic and it just looks like this and I have to note that I have this little assistive touch floating around. None of my buttons are broken on my device. I just like to have the assistive touch on there just so it's easier to take screenshots and stuff and so I can prolong the life of both of my buttons. If you want to see how to activate the assistive touch in your settings, um, please feel free to check out my video. Just type in Manda31409 assistive touch um, here on YouTube and it will pop up. I will also probably just link it um, in the description box below. Sorry, my screen <clears throat> went to sleep. But we just unlock it like this and this is actually my main page um, but it is actually my second page. So as you can see, here's my first second and then third. Um, my second page is my main screen because I like to see my lovely wallpaper. This is my wallpaper. It's just two cute ponies. Um, I will post the, both of my wallpapers on my Twitter, my Tumblr, and my Facebook so y'all can go steal those if you want. But um, So basically to get this to be your home screen, whatever page you put your device on when right before you lock it and then when you unlock it, it will be on the exact same page that it was on when you left it. So it's not that hard to make whatever page you want your main screen. I just have this one my main screen. So let's go ahead and get into this. First off on my dock I just have settings, notes, calendar, photos, and camera. And then on my first page that's right here I just have my um, little folder that is with my utilities that is just apps that have come pre-stocked on this device. There's the iTunes Store, Videos, Messages, Maps, um, Newsstand, and Game Center, Music, and then this little photo booth thing that does like crazy effects <coughs> that comes pre-installed on the iPad. Then I have Retrico, which is an awesome photo app. I have Timer Camera, which is exactly what it says it is. It's a that's a camera timer. And then I have Cute Calculator. It's just this really cool calculator app that I also have on my iPhone. It's really helpful for if I go out somewhere and I need to know tax or what to tip a waiter if I go out to eat somewhere. And um, you just enter the amount. Say you want to know what the tax on $40 is. You just type in $40, hit the tax button, and it'll tell you how much tax of $40 is or how much tax is on $40 or what the amount of tax is on $40. So it's awesome. And then I have contacts, reminders, clock, iBooks, uh, uh, documents, which is kind of like Microsoft Word or like a Word document viewer or like you can type out documents and stuff like that and share them to other devices using Dropbox. Dropbox is an awesome file sharing app. You can also download it onto your computer or any other devices that you may have. And it's just really helpful if you want to transfer photos or documents very easily. Then we have my main page, and on my main page, I have Mail, FaceTime, Safari, and App Store. Please, please, please don't contact me via FaceTime. That is just for my personal friends and family. 
Then on my busy page. On my busy page, first I have my photo editing apps. These are all my photo editing apps. I just have Aviary, Square Ready, Pick Effects, Line Camera, which is really cool if you want to add cute little stickers and stuff. Then I have InstaFrame, PixArt, which is awesome. Uh, photo Marker is the one that you would download if you want to watermark your photos or put your name on your photos or any other text you want. Then Square Ready for Video is if you've been on my Instagram, you've seen my videos that are kind of like horizontal or vertical or whatever and they're not in the square form that's the app I use to get that effect or that feature and then splice is what I use to edit my vlogs on my vlog channel I get that question asked a lot but I just use splice I just use the free one all right and then the next one we have here is TV and movies we have Netflix ABC CBS CW NBC Lifetime A&E and TV Guide I'm not going to go into huge detail with those but I like to watch some TV sometimes when I can then we have games and in games I have line play my little pony kawaii pet migu or megu however you want to pronounce it candy crush pet rescue saga uh, nuts Unblock Me, Emoji Mahjong, and then this racing game, it's called Real Racing 3. I have that downloaded for my boyfriend, he just plays it. Other than that, I don't play it at all. Um, and then I have two other My Little Pony games. These are just fun, like, read-with-me books that are for, like, little kids, but I absolutely love them. I think they're adorable. Um, and then Checkers and Solitaire for when I'm on road trips or something, and I'm bored and I just want to play a game or something. And then in my social, I have my follow tool, which lets me track my Twitter followers. I follow everyone back who follows me on Twitter, um, but if you unfollow me, I'll know and I'll unfollow you. So uh, then I have Status Shuffle, which is the blue one. It's not the pink one, it's the blue one, so I can update my, my status and stuff. Then I have my Skype. Skype is for personal use. Please, please, please don't contact me on it. I only talk to friends and family on there that I know personally. Then I have You Now. I do go on You Now live shows, so if you want to be a part of one of my You Now live shows in the future, go ahead and head on over to younow.com slash Manda31409 and um, go ahead and become a fan and you can know when I go live and stuff. I'm hoping to do it a little bit more often. Then I have Instagram, which is just Manda31409. We Heart It, which is Manda31409. Uh, Facebook Pages, which is my Facebook page, facebook.com slash Manda31409. Then I have my Tumblr, Manda31409. My Twitter, Manda31409. And then my personal Facebook, which I do not give out because it is my personal Facebook that I use for friends and family that I know in person. Then I have YouTube Capture and just YouTube. And that is the end of what's on my iPad. This is why I'm not a singer. Anyway, so yeah, that is everything that is on my iPad mini. I hope you all enjoyed this. I almost dropped my iPad just then. Proof that I have small hands and I shouldn't hold this like that. But um, And for those of you who are asking, this is the iPad mini and it is a 16 gigabyte. And if I go into general about, I have 48 apps, 95 photos, one video. Uh, the capacity is 13.5 gigabyte and available I have 2.2 gigabyte. Um, so you can see all that information right there. So if you're interested on how much space is all taken up and everything like that, I'm not going to do a what's on my camera roll. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. Uh, with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed this. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up and comment below with, in, in all my videos from now on, I'm just going to do like a special comment below thing, like comment below. Um, let's see. What should this week's, or what should this video be? This video should be comment below with your most used app. Like what app do you use the most? Not your favorite. Well, maybe it could be your favorite too. I don't know. Um, in my What's on my iPhone, I had you guys comment what your favorite app was. This time, just comment which one you use most. That may be your favorite. That may not be your favorite. Which one do you use the most? Personally, I use Tumblr, Instagram and YouTube the most, I think. I think I use those completely. I think I've been using Tumblr the most. I love reblogging photos and all that stuff. Also, um, feel free to read my daily blogs if you're interested in what's going on in my personal life. The link will be in the description box below to read my daily blogs. It's just on my Tumblr, but you don't need a Tumblr to view it. Um, and with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed this. So until next time, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. Okay, bye!